assalamu alaikum dear students of class 9th today dear students we will discuss uh, the types of soil as as you know that soil is a natural resource and soil is the abiotic component of our environment so dear students depending upon the amount of particles and types of particles soil is classified into three main types so on the basis of particle size of the soil soils are classified into three categories so one category is sandy soil sandy soil contains a large amount of sand particles and very small amount of silt and clay it is found in deserts it cannot hold much water so dear students as you know that sandy soil is that soil which contains most of the sand particles as you know sand particles are big particles than silt and clay that is why this type of soil is found in desert areas and this water this soil cannot hold water because there are various this soil is uh, has a various porosity there are various pores inside the soil it does not hold the water it is not able to retain the water inside it that is why that type of soil uh, sandy soil in which we irrigate in which we cultivate our crops are irrigated almost every day so as to get the good crop from the soil and this soil is mostly used for the cultivation of potatoes for the cultivation of radish for the cultivation of these uh, turnips all those uh, plants which store their food in roots uh, or underground stems like potatoes etc so dear students second type of soil is clay soil this clay soil contains clay particles and small quantity of humus humps and silt clay soil is compact and can hold water but cannot trap air so clay soil is that soil which contains small clay particles small humus and silt so the clay it also contains humus humus is the that part which is uh, contains this fertile dead parts decomposed parts of plants and animals it is compact and can, it can hold water but cannot trap air that means it is not porous it has less porosity it is not much aerated soil this type of soil is not much aerated soil so third type of soil is called as loamy soil loamy soil contains clay silt sand and humus loamy soil has a good water holding capacity and is porous to allow aeration of roots so dear students the loamy soil is a good type of soil because it contains clay silt sand and humus as it contains all these components it has a good water holding capacity it can retain water inside it and this is a poor soil it contains pores it can hold the air so we can see the aeration of roots takes place easily in such type of soil that is why this loamy soil is good for agriculture production so agriculture crops vegetables fruits are cultivated even cereals are cultivated in the loamy soil so dear students these are the three types of soils uh, they are classified on the basis of the particle size in them so dear students besides the type of soil particles from the agriculture point of view soil is in india divided into many types one is called as residual soils uh, 
second is called as transported soils and third one is called as and these are the two main types one is residual soils and and transported soils residual soils are again uh, divided into black soils red soils laterate soils and these transported soils are classified into alluvial soils desert soil mountain soil the students stay connected we will discuss the residual soils in india their types in another video their students stay connected